Hi guys, it's Kira from Plaid and welcome, happy Wednesday. We are going to be talking all about folk art terracotta paint. So thank you so much for joining us and we are going to walk you through um, our, one of our brand new products, folk art terracotta paint. And we're gonna be doing some awesome DIYs. Trash to terracotta is one of the hottest trends in DIY and crafting. And so we created an amazing, lightly textured acrylic paint that makes it super simple and easy to transform your trash into terracotta and trash to treasure. So uh, like I said, it is a lightly textured acrylic paint. It is indoor outdoor, and it comes in a beautiful range of colors. This product is available at michaels.com and michaels in store. So you can grab 18 of these beautiful earthy tones in store and craft along. Um, like I said, the color range is beautiful. It's everything from creamy rich whites to beautiful pinks. This is one of my favorite, Missa Pink, um, to beautiful blues and greens. So I'm gonna show you a ton of great colors that you can use and how they all work together. They're beautiful home decor colors. And again, it is turning basically thrift store finds, um, things that you picked up in store or you may have laying around your house, garage sales, thrift stores, and transforming it into decor. So you're able to take a basic piece of glass, ceramic, terracotta, wood, metal, canvas, paper mache, and turn it from this into beautiful home decor. You can see behind me here in the studio, we have some other examples of things we've created. And again, this just started out, this was from the thrift store. We prepped the glass, which I'm gonna talk about in a second, and then we painted it. And I hope you can see um, the lightly texture. Um, can you guys see that? We have Tamara here in the studio. So lightly textured um, ceramic terracotta look. So it is a beautiful, beautiful light texture acrylic paint. And again, it's indoor outdoor, which makes it so amazing to decorate your indoor living space, your outdoor living space. It's so versatile. And again, it works on a ton of different surfaces. So again, I just wanna show you some beautiful examples that we created. So I'm gonna show you how you can ombre, you can dry brush, you can just give it a good coat of color. Um, also how to stencil with it. And again, how you can transform everyday items and trash into terracotta. Like I mentioned, we have ta uh, Tamara here in the studio. So if you have any questions, we can answer them um, live for you. So if you have questions about the paint or want to see a certain color, please let us know and we're happy to answer for you. So I'm going to get started. Um, I want to talk about prepping glass or ceramics. So this is one of the biggest trends is finding, again, whether it's thrift store finds, garage sales, um, whether it's something that you already have at home on a bookshelf or you know stored away in a box, grab that out and you want to prep your glass or ceramic surface. So to do that, you want to just make sure that you wash your surface with warm soapy water and rinse it and dry it. And then take rubbing alcohol and a lint-free cloth and wipe it down. So this way you're removing any residue or dust or any leftover stickiness from like a price tag. Um, or a sales sticker. So you always wanna prep your glass or ceramic anytime you're crafting with any of our amazing paints. But um, also terracotta works the same. So we've gone ahead and we've wiped down all our surfaces. And again, I've just got a variety of surfaces to show you here. So I've got glass, I have mason jars, I've got old metal candlesticks. It works great on metal also. Um, and it doesn't have to be clear glass. Like I said, it's great for ceramics, colored glass, and you can, t you can actually transform terracotta pots. So again, that sounds kind of crazy. Like, hey, I have a terracotta pot. Why do I need to paint it with terracotta paint? But we have such a beautiful range of colors. There's 18 colors available at Michaels and Michaels.com that you can transform your terracotta into, again, a beautiful range of earthy tones. They all work together. They're beautiful for home decor. Um, it just adds a little pop to your bookshelf. Or again, if you're decorating a patio space, this is great. You could do a whole collection for um, indoor, outdoor patio. Again, it's great because it is so versatile. So we are gonna get started. So we talked about prepping, and then I am going to grab, um, um, I just have some baby wipes here. Um, they're great for easy cleanup. This paint cleans up with soap and water. It's non-toxic, which is also great. I've got just a jar of water here. Like I said, it's easy to wash your brush out. I have a variety of brushes. I've got some great flat brushes, folk art flat brushes and stencil brushes. 
And I've just covered my workspace here. And I've got some paper plates just to use as a palette. So I'm gonna squirt this out of the bottle because I want you guys to see how beautiful this paint is. So this is Ocean Cavern. Again, such a beautiful range of colors. This is a really beautiful blue. And you can see here, this is one we did yesterday, this beautiful blue. So I'm gonna pour this out because I want you guys to see on camera how thick and creamy this paint is. And it's typically one co coat. So you get one coat coverage. Now, depending on your surface and if you're going from a dark surface to a light paint, you may need to do two. But typically, and I'm gonna show you right on camera that you're gonna get great full coverage on this. So I've got this blue and I'm gonna put just a couple colors out so you can just see how pretty they are and they all work together. So this is clay pot. So this looks more like your true traditional terracotta. So again, if you wanna have that look, that real earthy look, you can get that with this paint. We've also got, this is one of my favorites, um, Dusty Trail. And this is a beautiful creamy brown. And we have Mesa Pink, like I said, which is a really pretty pale pink. So you can see the pale pink. And again, they all work so well together. We have got, um, this is our clay pot. And again, the shades are great, whether you're ombreing or blending also, which I'll show you. And then this is Sea Frost, which is kind of like a grayish blue. But again, 18 beautiful colors available. This is just a sampling. We've got black, white, and again, a beautiful range, as you can see here, of warm tans and grays and blues and greens. I'm going to put some green out also. And this is shale green. While you're getting your palette together, yeah, um, Heather is asking about surfaces you can use it on, specifically wood. Yes, so that's a great question. You can use it on wood, on glass, on ceramic, on, terra, on terracotta, on um, plastic, on um, paper mache, on metal. So a wide range, it, multiple surfaces, and you can use it on finished wood or unfinished wood. So, you know, whether you're purchasing an unfinished wood piece or, you know, buying and making something, or if you have something at home already or something that you've thrifted that is finished, you can absolutely use this paint over that. Okay, so I've got my paint out because I just wanted to show you guys, and then I'm just gonna start painting and show you the coverage on this because it is amazing. And it's so easy and so fast. So I'm gonna grab this blue. You can see how thick that is. And then we've already prepped our glass just by washing it and wiping it down with everyday rubbing alcohol. If everyday rubbing alcohol is a thing. And um, just making sure that it's dry. And then you can see that's one coat. So it is great coverage. And the texture that you get, it's a very light texture. Now you can smooth it and I mean smooth by you can go brush strokes up and down or side to side, so you're just gonna have that light texture, and you're gonna see a little bit of the brush stroke, but that's part of the beauty. Or if you want more texture, you can actually do like a cross hatch or zigzag or X, and you can get more texture. You could also sponge it, so you could use a sponge, you could use the end of your brush if you wanna have a more textured look, but just by smoothing that, and don't worry if you can see those brush strokes because again, it's not gonna matter and you actually want that. You want it to look imperfect and it is so beautiful and you can hear that sound. That is like the light texture. It's not rough or scratchy. It's a very matte light texture finish. Brittany so, and Joyce are asking as you're painting this glass about curing the paint. Yeah, so um, we have all the instructions on the bottle but you don't need to cure it to put it um, outside. So it's indoor, outdoor. You just wanna make sure that it's dry. Now I will say that this isn't oven safe, um, I'm sorry, not oven safe, dishwasher safe. So it's different than our multi-surface um, traditional folk art paint, but you can put it indoor, outdoor. And you can see just how fast. So whether you're creating a centerpiece, we were just talking because these colors are so beautiful and trendy, um, not only for home decor, but if you have a wedding coming up, so say you're doing a bridal shower or a baby shower or a wedding, and you could do centerpieces. You could fill, you could get a bunch of inexpensive vases, whether you purchase them or thrift them, or um, you know, we did a wine bottle here. This is great. You could do wine and beer bottles and paint them into match your color scheme and then just fill them with either fake or fresh florals and line them up on your table, on your picnic table, on your guest tables. Also great favors. So you go to a, 
um, a party or a shower and you have you know a little vase painted with this at everybody's seat and then they take that home it could also you can le lean your name tag up against it you could use it as um, like your table number so you could stencil and I can show you guys how to easily it stencils you could stencil your table number on it so a lot of great options for entertaining especially if people are getting back into that and great for indoor outdoor entertaining also so I love that and again the colors are so pretty there's a color that's going to match your color scheme it's great for seasonal we just did um, like a fourth of july craft so we've got this red and the blue great for evergreen it's going to be so beautiful in the fall so a lot of fun ideas that we can do with this so i'm just going to keep painting this and again you can see that beautiful texture and how easy it goes on Okay, so 18 beautiful colors. I love this blue, but I want to show you guys some more of the other colors. And this is just one coat. So I would really just only do one coat on this. Again, it's going to depend what you're painting on. Um, but the one coat, because you get that beautiful texture. It's creamy. It's, um, you know, lightly textured acrylic paint. So it's non-toxic. It'll clean up while it's wet with soap and water. Um, so you don't need to worry about that. And again, there you go. And then if you wanted to ombre it, so we were talking a lot about that, all you need to do is you can go right into your lighter color and mix it, and you can just mix it right on your vase. So look at that. You can get a beautiful ombre right on your vase, and you just want to blend up. So again, this is really pretty for beach decor, like that weathered look. Great if you have a beach house or you're throwing a beach-themed party. You can, again, do these beautiful for you know put these on your mantle as centerpieces i love the idea of you could do a tray or if you have a tray and then you know putting these on a tray on your coffee table or an ottoman that you may have and again you can just blend this and again i'm going fast but just show you how easily this blends joyce is asking about confirmation on the outdoor that you do not have to seal this paint. Correct, it is indoor outdoor. So we have done that for you. It is indoor outdoor and you can put it outside. And then you can see here what we did. This is a wine bottle just talking about dry brushing. So this is a wine bottle that we painted in that blue. And then all we did was we dry brushed, took a tiny bit of paint, spout some off and then dry brushed it. And then you can see that beautiful texture comes through and I love the look of the light and dark, so you can see that beautiful texture. So again, it's great for kind of that beachy, ocean, washed look. So lots of great options on that. Um, this one was a two-tone one that we did. So this is that beautiful um, dusty trail. And then we have this lighter color, which is terrazzo tan. And all we did was brush stroke it up and kind of let it flow. Um, so I can show you guys really easily. So. I'm just going to dip into this Mesa pink, but look, you can just kind of brush stroke this up and it just fans out really pretty. So you get that beautiful worn look. So it looks like true terracotta, old ceramic, old world ceramic. So, uh, so many great options with this. Again, you can do clay pots and you could tape off with this also. So this was one we painted the cavern the blue and then or the ocean cavern and then the white and then you can just use some low tax stencil tape so this is great this is just low tax stencil tape or painters tape and you can tape off your surface and you can get a really great straight line or you could do more of an abstract on here so I'm gonna go actually right over the blue and the white and again you just want to press that down this low tack tape is not going to damage the paint now you wanna make sure that your base coat is completely dry. So I would let this sit overnight if you're gonna go ahead and um, use a tape just so it doesn't rip it off. But if you let this dry overnight, then you can absolutely go back and put the tape on uh, paint or stencil, then remove it. You just wanna make sure that it's completely dry. You don't wanna rush that anytime that you're you know, using a tape or something on a project. And then I'm gonna go crazy here and I'm gonna grab this green and I am just going to paint right over this blue and look at that coverage. So that is light green over a, like a deep blue. So again, the coverage is amazing. 
I am just painting this over the blue, over the white. I just want to show you the coverage that you get. Tamara, any other questions? No, got some compliments on the colors. People the colors love the colors. Are so beautiful. I, again, like we say everything is our favorite, but this is one of my new favorites. And it just is so effortless and so fast and easy. You know, if you're sitting there, grab your paint this weekend. It's, you know, a long weekend for some people. You could totally do a redo your bookshelves, your, you know, patio. You could do this all this weekend. And then look at that perfect line you get. So again, the great detail, even though it's lightly textured, you're still gonna get a really crisp line. So that texture isn't gonna interfere. So you can get a lot of detail also. So again, I'm just using a flat brush and this is a terracotta pot that we previously painted. And then again, the detail that you can get. Right, so you can get tons of detail. You could even turn your brush over and you could mandala or do dots with it. So again, a lot of great options. I'm going quick here. But just so many great options and detail that you can get. I'm just going to rinse my brush out. And then I want to show you guys stenciling. Well, that's great because someone just asked. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, perfect segue. We didn't even plan that, right? OK, so um, this is a great. Um, base to show it on just because it's flat and it'll be a great demo for you guys but again you can cert you could absolutely stencil on any of these surfaces so again we painted this with a dusty trail let it dry one coat and then i am going to grab my adhesive stencils we have so many things on the table okay so these are great folk art um, adhesive stencils and i'm just going to show you how easy we were talking about personalizing this so again, if you were doing a wedding or um, you, know, you wanted to do um, a name or a monogram or again, if it's for a certain um, holiday or celebration, you could absolutely do that. So I'm just gonna do um, a couple letters here just to show you the detail that you can get. And again, these are adhesive stencils. You don't need to use adhesive, but I do love adhesive stencils when you're working on round surfaces or glass. It makes it really easy. These are reusable. You can just wash them with um, warm water. Okay, so you just wanna make sure those are flat. And then I'm gonna use a stencil brush. Now, a trick to stenciling, if you haven't stenciled before, you really wanna use a dry brush. So I'm using a stencil brush, this is a half inch. And you wanna make sure that you dip in your paint and then you offload. So you barely need any paint. And I'm gonna go ahead and dip right in this Mesa pink. And again, this is barely any pink, especially paint, especially because this paint is so thick, you don't need a lot of it. A little bit goes a long way. So I'm gonna go ahead and stencil right on there. And I am just tapping up and down. Again, not a lot of paint. And then I'm gonna grab um, this really pretty flower also we have here, and I'm gonna put this down so you guys can see the coverage, because those are kind of little. And again, I am just spouncing up and down, not a lot of paint. I didn't even go back in and reload my brush. I am just stenciling and pouncing. And again, these are adhesive folk art stencils. They're reusable. I love them on any type of glass, whether you're using multi-surface enamel um, or this, um, terracotta paint and again this paint is so versatile and all the colors work together so we really like you don't need to be like oh I don't know what colors go together any of them look beautiful together because they all just have that really like dusty earthy look but we do have a black and a white and you know more traditional colors okay so I'm gonna pop these off and set them to the side again these are reusable so I would just wash them um, with warm water and let them dry to reuse them. But for us, I'm just gonna move them to the side. Oh, that bled a little bit. And you can always touch this up. That's what's so great about this paint. So if you're like, oh, it bled a little bit only because I was going fast and not paying attention, you can app this paint is going to be super easy to touch up. So it's gonna dry a little bit darker, so don't worry about that. Once that dries, it'll blend. But look at the detail you get. Again, you could just do, you know, like I said, you could do your name, your initial. This would be great for a gift. If you're going to someone's house, this is a great hostess gift also. 
Um, it would be fun to do like a thrifting party so everybody brings all their things, like right, like you have Valentine's Day vases that you feel bad throwing away under your sink. Um, everybody has a random thing. Like what if everybody brought like their old things and then you painted it and you came home with new decor? That would be so fun and you could trade it. So a lot of great options. And again, there's 18 colors. So there's something for everybody, whether it's a neutral or a bright or a brighter color. Um, somebody was you know, asking what surface is. So this is an old metal candlestick. Again, we prepped him the same way we did glass and terracotta. There's literally a piece of um, a jump ring on here because this had like crazy jewels hanging off of it when we bought it at the thrift store. That's okay. Um, prep this the same way. Just make sure it's clean and dry. I would wipe this down with alcohol. It won't hurt. So just to make sure that there's no dust or sticky or residue left behind on it. And then again, I'm just going to use my flat brush. Um, the flat brushes work great with this and it cleans up with soap and water. So you don't need to worry about ruining your brushes. That light texture is going to wash right out and you can reuse your brushes. It's not like you have to have a separate brush for that. And I'm going to paint this beautiful um, red color. So it's almost like a brick red, but warmer and not as red. Does that make sense? So it's just this beautiful color. And this is called, I always get it wrong, red clay. So it looks just like red clay, but it is really beautiful. And again, one coat, and that is on metal. So metal, tin, wood. Um, finished or unfinished wood and again it is going to be indoor outdoor so you don't need to worry about that you could pop this right outside so whether you're decorating your patio um, giving as a gift hosting a party outdoor um, this is great for that and again this is one coat like I said the coverage is amazing 18 colors available at michaels.com and michaels so you know you could still grab this and you know craft for the weekend. I love the idea of getting your friends together and having a crafting party. Um, again, you probably have like 10 things in your house now that you could paint. Um, you know, whether it's a wine bottle or a beer bottle or you know just a piece of decor, and you're like, eh, I'm ready for a refresh. Like this is a great way to do it or try something out. You know, like oh, I'm thinking about you know, going more blues or more greens. This is a great way to start to incorporate that into your decor. Great for gifts, great for hostesses, weddings, so great. And again, I am just painting this metal candlestick. This is one coat, it's effortless. While I'm talking to you, I'm literally transforming this um, trash to terracotta. And you guys, if you don't follow Plaid Crafts on YouTube, you wanna make sure that you subscribe so you get notifications when we're gonna go live again. Um, typically, we have a lot of great videos. Not typically, we do have an amazing library of on-demand videos, but this is a great way to know when we're going live if you subscribe so you can see you know, when we're debuting a new paint or we have a new technique we want to share with you. People are already talking about Christmas projects. Oh, yeah. yeah. Love it. Again, if you, you know, buying like vintage or this look is so expensive sometimes, so what you could do is you could thrift all of this and then paint it and stencil it and then sell it even or decorate. If you want to revamp your Christmas decor, this is a great way to do it. Do your mantle. Um, you could do Christmas ornaments. We've actually done that. That's a great thing to do are Christmas ornaments. And here's a charger that we did. So again, talking about plastic or metal. So let me grab over here. Here's a charger that we did. So this is just an inex inexpensive plastic charger and we painted this and then stenciled on top of it. So again, look at those crisp lines. This is great. You could put a glass plate over this and use it to set your table. You could use it as a centerpiece. So, you know, you could take your vases that you've painted and kind of arrange them like this. And so wouldn't this be beautiful like on your coffee table or your outdoor patio? You could put some fresh flowers in here. You could stick um, like a battery operated LED candle on here. And this is a great easy decor. Or you could do this and hang these on the wall. So you could use real plates. You could use these chargers if you want to vary up your sizes. But you could actually hang these on the wall and do a whole gallery display which would be really pretty. Again, what if you took this you know, and you did a little gift and you wrap this all up in cellophane and, you know, you put a little candle on there. Like, this is a great housewarming gift or included a bottle of wine with it. So a lot of great options. More questions, Tamara? No, I'm going to keep right painting now. if people want to see. 
So we've got this vase. Um, so again, this has an, this was just an old project that we had that was stenciled, but we're like, hey, we can update this, right? We already have it. Um, so I'm going to grab, actually, I'm going to use this beautiful terracotta color. And again, this is going right over. So if you have a project you've done already and you're like, I don't like that or I'm tired of it, this goes right over what you've already done. So again, this is going right over the stencil, right over this pattern, whether you, um, you know, have this at home or you thrifted it. And again, you can get a lot of texture. You can go back and forth and create more, or you can do more lines. But again, I love just a little bit of the, the brush stroke, and that makes that texture pop and just come to life. So again, how easy and fast. And it's indoor, outdoor. This would be beautiful um, if you set it on your counter and you um, put your utensils in it or some flowers or some, you know, some greens. You could do fresh flowers in this. Or keep this um, on your patio and you can use it to water your plants. So it's decorative and you can just use it and fill it to, um, you know, you know, water your garden. We have someone asking where they can buy it. Yeah, so it's available at michaels.com and michaels in store. 18 colors, so again, a wide range of white, black, gray, tan, all your beautiful basics, but then we've got these rich and earthy blues and greens and like cranberry and pink. So Michaels and Michaels.com. So again, if you want to craft immediately, it's not too late to grab it um, in store or you can order it online. And again, Michaels has a ton of great surfaces. Um, so they've got a lot of great inexpensive basics, these chargers that you could buy and change it up and transform it. Um, here's another, we painted this with the red. So again, really easy to stencil on. You know, like I said, if you were doing this for like a shower or a little centerpiece, you could put a little succulent on it. So what if you're doing a wedding shower and you know, their last name is gonna be Lee, then you just grab a little L, pop that on there and you could totally like assembly line these or it'd be fun for the bridal party to do. And I don't have a small stencil brush. I'm gonna use a regular brush, which I would not recommend, but it'll be okay for this. And I am just going to show you how quick and easy you could do this. So I would use a stencil brush, but for this. So again, you could just do this and then fill it with a cute little succulent and line the table. And then this is the, um, you know, the little shower gift or you know, present that they get to take home. So I love that idea. Again, these pinks and blues are beautiful for nurseries, greens and yellows for nurseries. You know, if you did a whole wall and shelf of just these really beautiful neutrals with like some gold accents would be really pretty. This also works great with a lot of other, all our other paints in our line and if you wanna show that contrast, so you could use this with treasure gold and get that metallic pop. You could use this with regular folk art um, and get that contrast in the textures, which is also really beautiful. Um, this is just a plain black base, so I'm going to paint another one if there's any other questions. No, just uh, people are enjoying it. Yeah, okay, so look, this is green over black. That's really good coverage. Um, so again, you could paint this solid. You could ombre it, so we could grab this. Um, yellow would be really pretty with the green, actually. So I'm going to get a little bit more green on here, and then I'm going to add some yellow. And again, I may do two coats since I'm painting a lighter color on black, but you just let it dry, you know, about an hour in between coats. Um, it'll be totally fine to add another coat. It'll be dry to touch in less than an hour. So again, and then what you can do is, oh, my brush is dirty. Let me grab one more here. Again, easy cleanup with soap and water. I just have a jar of water. I'm just using baby wipes because they're easy. And this is this really pretty yellow. This is Desert Dune. So it's a yellow, um, a creamy yellow, like almost like a butter color. And then look, you could just blend this. So again, so pretty. If you want that more of that blended, like distressed look, you could do it wet. You could let this dry and you could um, go right over. I'm gonna grab this um, green right here. So this is that green color. So this is kind of the baby guy of this. Um, we were joking in the studio. We have so many vases and jars to be able to demonstrate this and do projects. Um, but again, it's just so easy. There's so many things that you can paint this on. Wood, canvas, metal, tin. 
um, paper mache? Um, what if you did a canvas and you use this as a textured background and then you did a detailed painting on top of it? That would be a really beautiful um, way to just get some texture and depth into your painting. Um, so here I'm going to show you this yellow on here that I was talking about since this is dry and show you how easy it is to dry brush it. So look, you can do kind of like that example. So you could just do a dry brush technique up. Or you could just literally dry brush this and get that out, that detail out. So you can see that beautiful texture and how it just changes the look. And look, you could even blend this down and just let a little bit of green show. So it's just that beautiful distressed look if you want that look. If you don't want pure color, you want it to be more subtle, this is a great way to get that look. So you can add as much or as little as you want. So that's a great thing to do. Again, easily. So this guy, he's this still has the price tag on from the thrift store. <laughs> um, so we missed that. So I'm just going to take that off. Um, so this is just, again, like a flower vase you would get. And you're like, well, I don't want to throw it away. I feel bad. What do I do with it? This is the way to upcycle and um, change all your, your pieces of glass and ceramics that you have around the house. Um, I'm going to grab this fresh granite because it's a really pretty gray, and I let, know a lot of people have gray accents in their home. So again, look at that. This is a really textured. We haven't done this. So this has um, squares and diamond texture to it. But look, it gets right in those um, crevices and those cracks, so you don't need to worry about that. And I'm using a big brush, um, so you don't need to worry about like getting in the little cracks. It's got such great coverage. This is one coat, and this I would definitely only do one coat in. It is covering beautiful. But look, you just took this green glass and created this beautiful gray look. Again, great for holidays. Everyone's talking Christmas, you know, Halloween. I think this is going to be a beautiful color palette for fall also. Just all the beautiful, dusty, rosy, you know, tans and creams. And the, the colors are just beautifully muted. And they all work together. So you can't really go wrong. Any more questions, Tamara? No, no more questions so far. OK, I'm going to finish painting this. So let us know if you guys have questions. Again, this is available at michaels.com and Michaels in store. It is folk art terracotta paint. So it is a lightly textured acrylic paint that is indoor outdoor and it transforms your trash into terracotta. So again, this is a big trend. There's a lot of inspiration. We've got a lot of inspiration on our YouTube channel and platonline.com of things that you can do with this. And it is just an amazing brand new product. You definitely want to try it. Um, it is a must have, like the must have this year, the season to go to for your decor, for gift giving, for entertaining. And again, holiday, I love that idea. Um, so again, look how easily I did that. And again, it's just got that beautiful texture. So it's easy to do a whole collection of vases. I've painted on all these now, but you know, you can see how well they all work together and you can really do a great like vignette or collection, whether it's, you know, a centerpiece or like I said, on a tray or, um, you know, in your bookcases or on a shelf in your kitchen, um, bathroom, anywhere. So a lot of great options. So you guys definitely want to check out Folk Art Terracotta, indoor, outdoor. Um, you know, you guys can create so many great things. So you can get it at Michaels and Michaels.com. And thank you guys so much.